Like for many years in my family, people don't get married. And when they do get married, it was at home, the bride price of pay. But then after a few times, the marriages never lasted. And the other would just go live with the men, have children, and after some time separated. My uncle who got married in church, took sick after his wedding and it took him some time in hospital and he never recovered, then he died. Uh, the next person that tried to get married in church, on the day of the wedding, the wedding got cut off. And 2015, when it was my time to get married, two weeks to the white wedding, I told sick at the point of death. And so we cut off the wedding. At this point, I knew that something was wrong. Meanwhile, I was a member of Living Faith Church. But once in a while, I visited there where I heard of Shido and I attended Shido 2016. So when I came, very desperate, and I began to ask the Lord, praying fervently, what is it was happening? Then the Lord now spoke to me and he said he wants me to live a satisfied life. That is, I should abstain from sexual immorality and walk in integrity. Then I was going to see his sovereignty. He also mentioned that I should go to Ghana, Jane's time. And he wanted me to see something there. So after Sheila went back to Liberia, I told my boyfriend then that we couldn't continue sexual relationship. And we both agreed and broke up the relationship. However, whenever he had challenges, he would call me to pray for him. And I was always standing in the gap with him, praying for him. After a week plus, as instructed by God, I went to Ghana, uh, precisely James time. And I saw what I saw. Then after I knew that only God could help me. So when I returned back again to Morovia, I decided serving God faithfully, fervently engaging into kingdom advancement endeavors and going out to the ghetto personally, using funds and resources, winning souls over and praying for my friends that I knew had similar condition as mine. So what I kept coming for Shiloh, suitors kept coming. And uh, whenever they came, I went to God in prayer and I would ask God if this person was the one and he would say no. And I went on repeatedly. So I was getting tired and like, but why does God keep saying no? But then two words kept my faith alive. When Papa said one time on the altar, he said, there is no star without a sky and the sky of every star is sacrifice. And Pastor David Yuen said, obedience may be costly, but the end result is priceless. So those two words, it kept me going and kept my faith alive. And I kept waiting for God, trusting him, kept loving him and just doing everything he has instructed and continue to do. In 2022, my ex-boyfriend came and he proposed marriage to me. I went to God in prayer, asking God if it was his will and God said yes repeatedly. So I accepted. In October, my bride price was paid in full. And in May 2023, I got married in church gloriously. Not just got married, but I got married to a friend, a father, and a reputable statement. Therefore, I have come to return the glory to God for the marvelous things he has done in my life.